Hey comic fans, welcome to another episode of The Comic Drill. I'm your host, Scott. I know it's been a while since I put a video out, but I've been on vacation, went to Disney World, had kids graduate, took a new job, so a lot of stuff going on. But I've got a haul video for you guys today. Went to a con this past weekend, which was great. Also bought some stuff off of eBay and Mercari. Uh, so let's get to it. Before we get started, if you would hit that like and subscribe button so you'll know when I put a new episode out. I appreciate all the support. And also, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Jerry the Jitterbug, who is on YouTube and also on Instagram. He has a great channel where he does a lot of um, Golden Age unboxings. He's a big fan of uh, Golden Age Batman titles, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel Jr., Wiz Comics. He does a great job, so I encourage everybody to check out his channel. So let's get started with this haul video. So, went to a con. It was the first annual Spartanburg Comic Con put on by a friend of mine. He did a great job. There were about 40 comic book dealers, 80 tables. Um, I even set up next to a friend of mine and blew out some of my dollar books, but got a few great deals. I wanna show you what, to, what I got here. Uh, first I got was the complete Wolverine miniseries, which, you know, I've been reading comics since the 70s, and this is a book I have never read. And I, I can't believe it, but I have never read this series. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Of course, it's Frank Miller. Um, book is really hot. Anything Wolverine and X-Men is hot right now. So I got the complete four issue series. This is issue one. These are direct, not newsstand. Uh, issue two. Issue three, and those, those black covers are hard to get um, good copies of, but this is this is a, almost basically a mint copy. And issue four, looking forward to reading that. Next is a more modern book. It is Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, number 32. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know I'm a big fan of the Kingpin, and this is the Kingpin's daughter, Princess Fisk. Um, and supposedly Devil Dinosaur, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is a series being produced on Disney Plus. So maybe we'll see her um, in the new show. So I picked this up. It's, it, it, the sticker on there was $35, but I think I paid maybe 15 for it. The guy gave me a, good, a really good deal on that. Next one I picked up at the con, this says 30, but I think I paid 20 for it. Amazing Spider-Man number 212, first appearance of Hydra Man. This is one that I had in my collection years and years ago, and it was a real uh, ripped up copy, so I was glad to get up. This is pretty much mint here. This is probably my fourth or fifth copy of Amazing Spider-Man 258, and this is the first time Reed Richards figures out this, this is a symbiote and what it's doing to Peter Parker. And um, this book has become really hot. This book is currently heating up. It's about a 50 to $60 book. And I got this for three bucks. And it is a really sharp copy. Star Wars number 71. And this is the first full appearance of Bosk, who has been rumored to be in not only the animated Bad Batch series, but also is supposed to be appearing in the Book of Boba Fett, which comes out later this year. So this book is really gaining some heat. Three bucks for this bad boy. This is one I picked off up off of line. I think it was Superworld Comics online. Um, they sell a lot of really good stuff. This was Star Wars number two. And this is the first appearance of Ben Kenobi, Han Solo, Chewie, Greedo. Uh, the Millennium Falcon makes his first appearance in here. And I think the Death Star also makes his first appearance in here. And this is um, a newsstand copy, sharp copy. Also picked up uh, Star Wars number five. Another sharp copy. This is the first appearance of Wedge Antilles, um, who we know as uh, the Rogue Squadron leader. Picked this cut up for five bucks. Um, Captain America number 290. This is the first appearance of Mother Superior, 
who later becomes Sin, which is the Red Daughter's uh, Red Skull's daughter, and then she actually ends up becoming the Red Skull uh, later on down the road too. And the rumor is that she is going to be the villain in Captain America 4, uh, of course, with um, Sam Wilson being the new Captain America. So if this comes to fruition and she is the villain, then this book will skyrocket, along with, I think it's Captain America 16, the Ed Brubaker um, Captain America run. So these two books are becoming pretty hot. Next, you have Marvel Comics number 117. I picked this up online. I think I paid five bucks for this. This is the first appearance of, or the first meeting of Wolverine and Venom. Um, this one I picked up at Superworld at an auction. I got this for 50 bucks, and it's a basically a near mint copy, as you can see. This is Special Marvel Edition number 16. This is the second appearance of Shang-Chi and the first appearance of Midnight Sun. Sharp copy of that. I uh, picked this up as a dollar book. I couldn't pass it up. It was the Planet, uh, Planet of the Symbiotes part four from the Spectacular Spider-Man Super Special number one. One dollar, so pick that up. Now this is kind of a weird one. This is, I have two copies of this. This is Superman 10 cent issue. Um, second copy, I, pay, I paid uh, $2 for this. This is the first appearance of the, I think her Sir L Supergirl. And it's like a hybrid human Kryptonian um, that was created by Brainiac, if I believe. And somebody's calling me. Do they not know what I'm doing? Um, and the actress that has been cast to play Supergirl in the Flash movie um, starring Ezra Miller, that's gonna be the Flashpoint storyline, the actress that's been cast uh, posted a picture online and her haircut and her hair color and her look looks exactly like this Supergirl. So if you see this in like a 50 cent bin or a dollar bin, definitely pick this up because if she ends up being that version of Supergirl, which it's, it's, it wouldn't be surprising because that movie is supposed to deal with the multiverse. So this could be the version of Supergirl that appears in the Flashpoint movie. So I would definitely pick this up. Um, these were, and I'm ashamed to say, I don't know who the cover artist is on this, but this was variant covers for Star Wars, um, the Bounty Hunters. I picked this up from Bird City Comics variant cover, uh, War of the Bounty Hunters. This is the Alpha Special. Then I also picked up the Virgin cover, same thing. Then I also picked up two more variants. This was from Elite Comics. This was the Neil Adams exclusive, which is awesome. Um, great cover for that. And then I picked up the Virgin cover for that also. I think they only made a thousand of these. Picked up online uh, issue one of Alpha Flight, which was the first appearance, I believe, of Puck. And also of, I believe her name was, is it Mar Marina? This character right here, who was the, the uh, wife of Submariner at the time. John Byrne Goodness, so you can't go wrong with that. Also picked up issue two. And issue three and all these were a, a dollar and I had copies already but for a dollar a piece can't beat that um, this says 60 but I think I paid 40 for this this was just an early FF well not real early number 73 I just love that um, that Kirby cover with Daredevil Spider-Man and Thor playing the Fantastic Four Pay 20, it says 40, but I paid 20 for this. The second appearance of the Falcon. That costume is ridiculous though. <laughs> also picked up, and this is gaining a little heat because of the announcement of the um, Black Panther sequel, um, Rise of the Black Panther. I picked up the entire series. I actually got one, two copies of number one.
number two with Namor. This one out of this this book out of the out of the six issues, I believe it is. Yeah, six issues. This is the book that's really gaining heat because it kind of tells the delves into the origin of the Black Panther and talks about his granddad and his dad, his first meeting with Namor, and so um, the rumor is that Namor will be in the Black Panther sequel, so we'll see. Uh, number three, this has the Winter Soldier, Iron Man on the cover, which is cool. Number four, Doctor Doom. Uh, number five. And number six. And this, I believe this series is from the early 2000s. Um, or maybe mid-2000s. I haven't read it yet, looking forward to it. Last two are slabs I picked up. This is Marvel Team Up number 65. If you saw one of my previous videos, I picked up a raw copy. I could not pass this up because I got this for $90, a 9.4 in this. And this is this is really taking off this, uh, this issue because it's the first appearance of Captain Britain um, in Marvel Comics. I think his actual true first appearance is a, in a UK magazine, which I have several of those, but not his first appearance. So this is his first appearance in Marvel Comics. Um, great cover, and uh, I can see a lot, of, a lot of growth potential with this. Last one is a major key, which I already have a, I believe it's a 7.5, maybe a 7.0. But this was such a good deal, I had to pick up a second copy. Uh, it was a 4.5 of FF number 49. And um, this is the first cover appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. And it also, I believe, it's the second appearance of the Silver Surfer and the first full appearance of Galactus inside. But it's the first cover appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. And what I really liked about this, it has this cool custom label with the FF, and I believe that's Kirby. Yeah, that's Kirby art up there. So check that out. That's pretty cool. Sorry about the glare. But um, yeah, got this for a steal. I couldn't pass it up. And this book, of course, with the FF movie that is definitely coming to the MCU, we know this book's gonna grow. So that was my haul for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna try to not make my next video so long. I'm kind of settled, got the kids graduated, settled in with a new job so I can maybe put out some videos more on a regular basis. Um, what I plan to do, I'm still waiting on a bunch of CGC books to come back. And from what I hear, everybody else is waiting on a bunch of books also. But the next few videos, what I may do is I am going to showcase my entire CGC collection, my Marvel and my DC, uh, maybe have a couple of independents, mainly Marvel keys, um, a few DC, probably break them up into maybe two or three videos because if I do one Marvel CGC video, it's gonna be really long. So I'm gonna break those up. That's the plan, that may change depending on if I get these CGC books back. But right now it looks like that may be what my next video is. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you know when I drop those videos. And I appreciate everybody watching. Again, shout out to Jerry the Jitterbug. Everybody watches YouTube channel, it's great. And I will see you on the next video. And remember, brush and floss. But only the ones you wanna keep. See y'all later. Later.